We're starting with the second derivative. I first want to then go to the first derivative. So to work my way back, I basically need to integrate x squared and write it as dx. So I'm going to integrate this. That will get me back to my first derivative. To find the derivative of the integral of this, it's easy to mix up the names. The integral of this would be simply add 1 and divide by it, plus c. That is my answer. Do you understand that this is my derivative now? Let me write that right there. Do you understand my derivative is my derivative is going to be the integral of the second derivative. My first derivative is the inter this is the second derivative is the integral of the second derivative. So the first derivative is this. Do we have some info here? Isn't this a coordinate? Zero, six, kind of? Can I go and plug in zero for x? And isn't six the output? Can I plug in x and y kind of idea? Not really a coordinate, but anyways. What's c equal? Six. So what we now have is my derivative equation is equal to this plus six. There's my derivative. This is a particular. This was a general. I want to work back one more step to my original. So, to find my original function, f, in order to find f of x, isn't that going to be the integral of x to the third over 3 plus 6 dx? Won't the original be the integral of the derivative? So, f of x is equal to the derivative, the integral of this will add, it's going to be a little bit harder to see, but if you add 1 to 4, divide by 4, that's going to be x to the 4th over 12. And then this one's going to be 6x. And then plus c. This is the general solution of the original function. If I want the particular, you take these values, it's like a 0, 3 here. Not really, but it kind of is. Actually, it is a coordinate here, 0, 3. So uh, 3 goes here, 0 to the fourth over 12 plus 6 times 0. Luckily, this one's pretty easy. C is 3 because all these zeros. So, my original function is x to the fourth over 12 plus 6x plus what? What's c? 3. This is my original function. If I start with this and I know these two values, I can work my way down to the original function. You have to have these two values. If you do not, you could not work your way backwards like this.